umpire Allen to get us underway. First bounce of the afternoon, Somerville and Salmon. They know each other very well. Denham down towards half forward for the Bombers. Lucas starting at centre half forward. Storming up the ground is Harvey. Morgan kicks it back inside the 50. It hangs in the air. Lawrence twisting towards the boundary. Lloyd leads in the pursuit there. Kept it in. Graham confronted by Pryor. Down goes Graham. The umpire goes across. It will be a boundary throw in. Watch it again. There. Salmon and Somerville from behind. Lord has been playing very well. Taken high, surely. And he will get a free kick. And Lord. No. It's going to be a bounce. Not surprising. Watch it again. I'm not doubting that. So, ball up on 50. Nearly chance for the Bombers. Salmon pushing and shoving, wins it. Harvey, the veteran, gets it out towards Mercedes. He's had another big year. Hawthorne through Johnson. Taylor Wilds kicks the ball back inside the centre square, so it's a loose ball. Taken by O'Donnell. It's a wild hand pass. Crawford pounced on it. Caught with it. Too low, not played. Crummel, wild hand pass goes out. Wilman goes to the ground. Rhino Connor, the Rhino, gets it out towards Hardwick. Happy to take the ball towards the boundary line. It's kept in by Crummel. Great play over the top for 11. Goes short. He's got a loose man in the square. Bang through by Gibson. It was just fantastic uh, tackling pressure by uh, Hawthorne out there on the flank. Crummel set it up here for Trevor. And just prior to that, Crummel... Uh, was about to tackle the Eskimo player and he just stood off him a little bit was able just to get the little soccer off the ground rather than just falling out all over the back of the Eskimo opponent and uh, once Hawthorne had that position well there was three men everywhere and uh, Gibson was the one who eventually uh, kicked the goal and this time last week Essendon had bitted two goals against the Western Bulldogs the first goal this afternoon kicked by the Hawks and the free kick is going to Salmon Pushed by Somerville to the big man. Tips it out wide, intended for Woods. Now he can break down towards the attacking 50. Elects to kick instead. Check had an awkward bounce. Left it behind. Back comes Check though. Gathers it about 25 metres out to Platt, not normally a goal kicker. This won't change things much. He kicks it behind. Perhaps should have done better. John yeah, I Platten. think uh, a lot better. I think he had a lot, lot more time than, uh, than he had John Platten, but. Uh, I suppose hasn't been in fantastic form this year and when you're not when you're struggling a little bit you do tend to hurry yourself once you hit the ball in your hands just kicked the two goals this season for johnny platten so the hawks started brilliantly last week against collingwood and they do the same there's a big mark for lord over the top been a pretty good pickup former cat a couple of leads on they've been ignored so Lord from right on 50. It's off the side of the boot, Chicks in front. He's got a bounty throw in. So Chick on screen just in his second season of AFL football. Seems to be getting better with every game, along with Crummel. Two pronged attack for the Hawks. So Connor pushing and shoving, too strong for Holland. He's got a ball up. 15 metres out from Hawthorne's attacking goal, the umpires this afternoon. The least experienced, bouncing it down there. Clara Ellis, Hardwick, still inside the 50 with that defensive kick. Lawrence finds it on the ground, then had it knocked away. Still Lawrence, Somerville cannons in there. Lawrence and Somerville go at it. The ball almost secondary. The umpire's gone across, and what's he done? He's awarded a free kick to Essendon on all of this and Somerville will get it well you be the judge Somerville wants to play on and does Hardwick comes away having taken the hand pass he boots it up towards midfield Barnard fingertips to it tackled by Chick and slung and it's pretty hot in there and hard as well on that centre wicket area Holland at the base of it Barnard applying a couple of tackles and will have a bounce 
right alongside the center circle. The breeze going left to right. Not all that strong, though. Salmon props, knocks it down. Olorenshaw in a tight situation. Boots Essendon inside their 50. Crawford went to ground, picked up by Lloyd, who snaps well wide of the mark. It bounces out of bounds in the pocket. It's interesting, Essendon today have lined up Dustin Fletcher and Mark Harvey deep in their Essendon forward line. Probably the two players who are the keynotes of the Bombers' defence uh, normally. And Graham is down also for Hawthorne. Gets up very gingerly. Got a chance for Fletcher around the corner. He snaps a goal. And that'll happen, Lee, with Graham in the hands of the trainer. Yes, it's uh, one one player more press and he's looking pretty sore Graham I think he's uh, going to be coming off the field yes in fact uh, Graham was uh, matched up against Lloyd but uh, Lawrence Fletcher it was a two on one situation really between the two of them Fletcher even though it was Lawrence's opponent he was the spare player so a bad blow for, uh, for Hawthorne because Graham has been in exceptional form uh, one with big an ankle or Right you wouldn't think they would have coverage on their bench. They're all short. Look for Crummel to go back. Crawford at the meantime has peeled off and gone across to Lloyd. And the Essendon forward's playing it pretty well. They've spread. So a man is back behind the defence, if you will. Woods meantime down towards half forward. This is Holland. This is the best defence attack in this situation. Taken by Dixon. Dixon pulls it down towards full forward. And the ball's out of bounds. So what are they doing? Yeah, Crummel yeah, has Crummel, gone back. Crummel has gone back. He's picking up Lloyd now. Well, that's a blow for Hawthorne because Crummel was sure he kicked five goals against Adelaide. And with Dunstall out of the side, it was looking like that he'd be one of their uh, prime focal points up forward. Holland dragged down. And another whistle. It's interesting to observe the contest. Uh, at the moment, Ryan O'Connor is on Nick Holland. Holland is a really hard running centre half forward, charges around getting on the end of the Hawthorne forward thrust, whether that O'Connor can in fact run with him. So O'Connor wins the tap down, taken by Wellman, just tumbles the ball out towards the boundary line, where we see Lord take it over. Aaron Lord really made his reputation that final out of Waverley. A few years back, when Geelong had a lot of their superstars out, he came in against Carlton and played an exceptional game. But he'll swap for Hargraves, both players have done well over the back. Chance for Harford. He's been a star this year. Chick playing in front. That's good play. Goes to ground. Then smack bang at Oliver Enshaw. He's top one high. Much improved player, Daniel Chick. And I think Chick did importantly what you must do. If you get a knock to your head, make sure the umpire sees it. Make sure you grab your head. Make sure he knows. And he certainly went head first in, but as soon as he grabbed his head, the umpire assumed he must have got a high knock and got the free kick. It's really part of the game, which is really is, uh, important, isn't it, KB? No use getting a knock to the head unless everyone else knows about it. Well, you've got to bring it to the umpire's attention. Absolutely. Chick directly in front. We'll be kicking from 25 metres. Kick nine goals for the season. And he's kicked truly. Important point was it was a pretty good uh, manoeuvre out on the half forward flank here where Salmon hit the ball into half its past for uh, full bore. That would have been a pre planned manoeuvre. And he got to the front position chip, got rid of the handball, and then cannoned into Olorencho, who just really, in his desperation, went that little bit hard. And I suppose when the player's head's down and he gets high contact, well, the umpire has to play the free kick. The crowd at the MCG, Hawthorne lead by seven points. Essendon always a big following. Hawthorne, a revival in theirs. Olorenshaw falling to the ground. O'Connor slaps it out wide. Mercedes a little slow. Well played by Holland on the ground to Dixon. Harford to Platten. Back to Dixon. Dixon kicks inside the 50. In front down there. Barnard almost to mark. I would have made it. Play goes on. Hand pass from Young indecisive. Morgan head down. Tackled by Trelevin. Hawks claiming holding the ball with some justification and now a bounce of 
uh, 35 metres out directly in front. Just interesting in the way the coaches look at the various midfield. Hawthorne's main tag are Tony Woods on Mercedes, and Essendon's main tag, main tag are Morgan is on half. O'Connor knocked it down. This is Wellman. Had it then lost it. O'Donnell sitting in there. And the bounce. And a great player, O'Donnell. 15 games now. So some of them on the tap, O'Donnell's kick was smothered. It's all tied up. There's O'Donnell having a quick word to Danny Morgan as he gets up off the ground. So 2 1 13. Hawks lead the Bombers. One goal. It's pretty tough getting the ball away. Very young this time, his last man up. So Salmon, this time the bounce favoured Somerville, slaps it down, taken by Crawford. Kicks the ball wide, Holland needs a kind bounce. Chick, who's been very lively, 45 metres out, across the face of goal. One point. Emerging young player, Daniel Chick. Geraldton, Far East Fremantle. What he does do, Chick, is really make the contest in the air but be able to uh, have a go at second efforts on the ground as well. He's got a great value. He can really launch himself at the ball second effort as well. Obviously has a bad memory. Something written on his arm there for future reference. In the pocket, Crawford. Chick again slips it away nicely done. Woods has a snap. And kicks it behind. So Hawthorne with the early chances right here. Take a look at Chick again if we could. Standing about 15 metres out, guarding the man kicking the ball in. There's Pryor. One chase tackle, we're told, is written on his arm. That's since birth. As the ball goes out towards the outer side. Holland was up. Fletcher the crumbs. Boots it towards the wing. Leckis goes back. Missed it. Carousella. With plenty of space as it turns out. Kicks to the lead from Lloyd, and Lloyd's taken the mark. He kicks him outside the 50. Now he's a thumping kick, and this is not beyond him. I think from memory last week against the Western Bulldogs, got one from around this area. Five goals for the season, six last Sunday. Very close to the man on the mark. That's good play by Lloyd, isn't it? He can see that all of a sudden the man on the mark's conned him. He's still on his straight line, so he's able to stop, go back again, have another go at it. That was terrific. Good thinking. Lloyd trying to bend it around. It's a marvellous kick. It's a goal. Great stuff all around. Yes, yeah, a really uh, very promising young player, Matthew Moore. He started in league football so young that we forget he's still just about a two. I don't think he's turned 20 yet. Has he still a teenager? Uh, but been around the league scene for this is his third season. And uh, he, again, he had a second go at it when he saw that he was too close to the man on the mark. To kick the ball 50 metres and kick it accurately, that takes some skill. Well, he's now kicked 26 goals for the season. He's playing game number 25. Young superstar emerging. Wild kick off the ground by Somerville. Forces the Bombers forward. Danaher came out. Couldn't take it. Leckers, hands and knees. Trelevin. It's a quick kick back towards the half forward line. There's Holland. Those great hands out in front. And already he's running away from Ryan O'Connor. I don't think O'Connor will last that long. Making more marks than anyone in the competition this year. Barry Young caught by Platten. Hardwick on hands and knees. Three kicks coming back. Go to Hardwick. So the youngster originally from Springvale. Kicks the ball out wide. There's the big fish. He's got it. Building the wall. Plays on quickly. Hawthorne. Love to keep the ball moving. Platten. The Rats got it on 50. Long bomb. It's a high ball in the square. At the back. Lord got his hands on it. Couldn't hang on to the Sheridan. Scores through for one point. Lord 
taking that mark. He had a wonderful run at it. Didn't quite time his lead. It's Gibson. And now O'Donnell. Bombers under pressure. There you go. One chase and tackle, as we said. Young's got it in the pocket. Interesting. All he's got to do is have the time to read it. That's right. The ball ricochets across the line. Gibson on the mark, so poor defensive work by Young there. You wouldn't think it'd take a lot of uh, memory skill just to remember the three words, but nevertheless, if they're written on your arm, I suppose you can see them there very regularly. You would think the initials would do it. Tossed in, about 40 metres out, Salmon goes up. That's got his fingertips to it. Hardwick, it's 11, crashes in there. Denham, too slick. Opportunity for Lucas. Down goes Salmon in front. Denham back again, Oliver Enshaw over the shoulder looking for the voice, close to the boundary line, Carousella, and across the line. Would have been uh, a bit embarrassing if it had a red milk, bread and eggs. <laughs> probably young, probably sponsorship is the next step. <laughs> Salmon versus Somerville. Somerville over the top is giving away the free. Salmon, who would be favourite, I think, to win the Brownlow medal at this stage of the season. It's the ball up. Lord had it, lost it. Hardwick got it from Mercedes. Good smother, check. Very lively. Back to Crawford. Chance for Holland. Oh. Has he taken the mark? Has it been paid? No. He wants it. It looked like he may have had good purchase on it. But it's been forced through for one behind. He just so, covers so much ground, Holland. He launched himself in mid-air. Have a look at this one. Well, maybe Barnard. Oh, no, yeah, and the ball came to ground. I think Flowen was a good decision. O'Donnell. Virtually straight down the middle. The crowd enjoyed that. Woods dragged down. Very tight. And the umpteenth bounce already. That will take place in the centre square. That's where drawing a ball up uh, really is so good for Hawthorne because in those long kick-ins, it's when the ball runs over the back into the open space in the centre square. That's when uh, Essendon are going to be really dangerous on the attack. Decisively by Salmon down to Crawford. It's Justin who kicks inside the 50. Young's in the road. Plays on this time. Kicks wide towards the wing. Carousella worked his man under the ball. He's outnumbered out there, but Sock is it down towards half forward. Scott did well. Meantime, some holding. And the free kick is going to Mark Harvey, is it? Carousella is tracking the ball down. Harvey finished up with the ball up ahead as he kicks inside the 50. Shane Crawford, Hawthorne, won him getting some touches. He's starting to. Just his second game for the season. After a bad angle injury, kicks out wide. The veterans got it. Harvey, quick hands, gets the ball moving, gives it across. O'Connor thumps the ball back, front edge of the square. Robren to Lekas. So the Hawthorne defence standing up, kicks the ball wide. It's a good grab by Dixon. Swings around, great vision as well. He finds Taylor on the edge of the centre square. Hawthorne on the move. Great kick, finds Lord. They've got the runners, they come from behind. Pops it out in front, Gibson will get there. And interesting, off the ball, I've mentioned the Holland O'Connor. Holland's in the goal square, O'Connor is about 100 metres away trying to get down there. He's going to be worn out in about 10 minutes' time, I reckon. But he certainly leads hard, Gibson, and led into space. It only took a little soft kick into his path, and he's marked it. So from right on 50. Distance not a worry, but uh, not the accuracy. And another behind on the score, forward to Hawthorne. This is where they're giving us a chance, isn't it, the Hawks? They've had all these shots, but they're kicking behind. You've got to make the most of your chances these days, otherwise when the opposition get their part of the game, then they have their opportunities. Look from the pocket, as Hardwick kicks in. Low and hard, O'Connor couldn't hang on to it for 11. And as far as Morgan, Morgan out of defence, across the ground. Salmon needs to get it on the deck because he's got plenty of help out there. Doesn't need it. Now he does. Off to Lord. Lord too nimble. Running down towards centre half forward. Spears the pass in. The umpire's on the ground. The mark goes to Harford. Harford chips in short. Holland has it. About 20 metres out. 
Umpire Allen took a tumble. And Holland has this one. Awkward angle, but will be opened up as he comes round onto the right boot. Hawthorne leading by six points. More correctly, six behind as it stands. He's got the goal. Here's a bit of off-the-ball pressure. Uh, certainly Nick Holland. He's not going to keep up uh, with Nick Holland, Ryan O'Connor. He's going to have to make it a physical context. But he's alongside him. And I think here's another contest we'll see off. I don't think Sumble's going to go far from Salmon's side. But really good play by Lord. He extricated himself, got himself through to half it, and then you can't blame O'Connor too much for this one because it's just in his zoning setup. Uh, when there's a quick rebound, there's all these spare forwards in the forward 50. Hawthorne by 12 points. Taylor thought he had it, lost it. Toby Trelevin taken away by Morgan to Denham. So he pumps the ball on Fletcher. Jumped high at ground level. On the down away with Scott. Lord's caught by Danaher. Taylor, quick hands. Crawford. Classy player. Second their best and first last two years back to Lord. Picking up a lot of possessions in this first term. Gets it back to Dixon. Kicks down here, is Holland once more. Big pack of players at the back. Holland's first to recover. Overruns the ball. Barnard, Platten to beat. The rat's there. Crawford's bundled also over the line. By the big rhino himself, who's all pumped up. Very strong player is Nick Holland. Just got rid of O'Connor as the ball arrived. And you were left wondering how. Holland and O'Connor go at it here. O'Connor knocks it down. Masidi takes a tumble, knocks it across the line. So the ball will be thrown in about 15 metres around from the right hand behind post. The city end. The end of which Hawthorne are going and so far. Hawthorne looking the better side. Nine scoring shots to two. They lead by 12 points. O'Connor claiming he's being held by the arm. Wellman being held by Platten. O'Connor heads for the boundary line. This is Gibson. And looking for Woods. Mercedes charges in, knocks it across the line. So Gibson on screen's already kicked the goal. Kicked six for the year. He's got the job of taking the spot of Jason Dunstall. A few goals in the reserves. So let's hope he can grab his opportunity. O'Connor down towards Young. Like he was held. Wellman. Being marked by Morgan. It was uh, adventurous, no doubt. Denham had it, lost it. Wellman driven into the ground by Dixon. And a ball up on 50. There's desperation there by Dixon, but they're the occasions where I think you've got to resist the temptation to fall on your opponent. If you can act, he falls on the ball and you can just kind of hold the jumper, keep the ball in. That's the way you can possibly draw a free kick for holding the ball. O'Connor, the tackler. And not look out of place at the Melbourne Tennis Centre, Ryan O'Connor. <laughs> I don't know. Well, slim. he could be a small sumo a wrestler. Extremely small. <laughs> Holland, got his fist to the ball. It's amazing, isn't it? O'Connor can be a big footballer, but a small sumo wrestler. <laughs> Very small, as you said. We sumo thought he wrestler. had thunder thighs until we saw Aki Bono. <laughs> Aren't they amazing? The bounce inside the 50. O'Connor gets it away to Hardwick. This one wanders up towards the wing. Almost a clever mark by Robber and brilliantly played in close by Fletcher to get it to Lucas. Lucas kicks down towards the 50. Lloyd comes up, gets it across to Carousella, who wants to run in. Still Carousella, no one in front of him. 10 metres out and closing, pops it through their third. Lloyd slow to get up. Well, I think he's already had a black eye from last week, Lloyd. He had that in the warm-up, so I'm sure he hasn't done that today, but I think he might have just got a decent old biff in the left eye as well. But uh, two Hawthorne players to one Essendon player. Well, obviously, there's a 
fourth player, and that's going to be the Bombers away, and that was Carousella. So once he gained possession, it was just as long as he could uh, negotiate the couple of bounces, he was going to kick the goal. Well, the youngster on screen, Blake Carousella, who was a star junior, just his first season of AFL football. So it's some presence of mind there to use his pace, take a couple of bounces. So 24 plays 18, Salmon getting his hand on the ball first. Platten. Short kick, Harford. Back to Trelevin to Taylor. So Hawthorne once more into attack. It's all Essendon. Barry Young takes the mark. They play on quickly. Give it across to Barnard. It's a hurried kick. Here's Salmon. Lord intercepted it. Back to the half forward line. Big fist away at ground level. Pounced on. Masidi. Tackled by Woods. Morgan. Long raking hair pass. Pryor. It was a hot ball. Young's done well. Come all the way down from the back pocket. Feeds it back off to Wellman. Kicks towards the half forward line. Running back with a flight was Lekas. Crummel. Is it a throw? Lekas tries to crash his way through. He's caught. Great tackling. We've got a ball up on the half forward line for the Bombers. Taylor and Pryor spending a lot of time after their exchange across half back or half forward, depending on how you look at it. Wrestling on the ground, the emergency umpire out to them. Took in a free kick there to Salmon, nothing doing. Masidi, the ball play, got the hand pass away. Ola Renshaw, though, proceeds to pop it out of bounds on the full. Platt. He's been pretty busy so far. Struggling for form, as we said, but always full of endeavour from half back up towards the wing Harvey from the side Salmon there as well and across the boundary line Salmon and Somerville will go at it again you get the feeling it's personal not so much between the pair of them but certainly Paul Salmon would love to make a point although I think the point already made Could have been hung on to there we'll get the free kick Fly smile from Paul Salmon, who's winning a few free kicks. This will be his third as he goes down towards half forward. Awkward one for Dixon, who tries to play it along in front. Couldn't keep it in. Boundary throw in. This is his third AFL game, Ben Dixon. Originally from Yarrawonga, went to that famous school, Assumption College. So Ray Carroll will be proud that another player playing league football from that school. Hardwick. Short kick, Harford. One of the top midfielders for the Hawks around the corner. Crummel looks like he's back on the forward line. Looks he's just chasing Lloyd down the field. Holland rockets the ball out to Platten. The rat was clever enough to get the hand pass way to Harford. It was poor, didn't hit a target. Denham. Tumbles it back. Great hands out. A throw out in front by Fletcher. Takes it over, but it's off the uh, boot. So it's on the full, taken by Lawrence. When you mentioned Crummel before, it's the ultimate defensive play these days. Run your forward down to your own forward line. There's no possible way you can kick the goals when he's 150 metres from the full forward line. There's Lawrence, the distance inside the 50. Holland in front, over the top. Big leap from Crummel. Couldn't complete the mark. It spills wide to Woods. Woods back towards full forward. Almost a clever mark to Gibson, not paid. On his knees, Young. In goes Crawford, that's Shane. Crashing in there, his brother as well. And we'll have a ball up about 20 metres out. Yeah, fell in his midriff, Gibson, but he just couldn't quite clasp it in under the, uh, the defensive pressure. Shane Crawford had a wonderful season last year. Sidelined by injury this year, just back. Here's Lord. And he floats it through for a behind. We mentioned before, Lee, about taking a the opponent downfield, Mark Graham, who's gone off for Hawthorne. I think this year I've seen him kick four goals from fullback. That probably makes him the best goal kicking fullback in the business. <laughs> Barnard kicks the ball wide, this time Somerville chips in in front of Salmon. Wellman screaming for the ball, he's been ignored. So Somerville goes for a one on one contest. Lawrence in front does well in front of Fletcher. It's actually been good over the last couple of weeks, Stephen Lawrence. Playing at centre-half back, Woods thought he had it driven to the ground. So Woods recovers quickly, kicks the ball back, Young. The 
This is the hard wing. So a couple of casual bounces. Kicks a shocker. Platten couldn't take control. Wellman gives it back to O'Donnell. So it's a tumble kick. Could bounce over the heads here of Lloyd. Good play by Crummel. Tapped it down to Scott. Caught high. Siren sounds. Very entertaining first term. And Hawthorne jumping out of the blocks early. But uh, certainly a wasted opportunity. 3-7-25 to the Bombers. Three straight goals, 18. Poor Salmon on screen. Who had a, a pretty good opening first term again. Well, they've probably been a five-goal better side, Hawthorne. But they're only seven points in front. Such has been the inaccuracy. Ten scoring shots to three. It just happens the three Eston uh, forward flurries have resulted in three goals. And Hawthorne have missed. So the game is still very, very much alive. But certainly the momentum uh, within the quarter as well. Well, Hawthorne's way. What a time, Hawthorne 3-7, Essendon 3 straight. Start of the second term of the MCG. Hawthorne leading by 7 points, 25 to 18. Somerville and Salmon, good bounce too. Somerville knocked it first, Salmon grabbed it though, hand passed across to Woods, who kicks down towards Holland, has been very good, Dixon likewise, Lively, floats it inside the 50, Barnard, knocked it down, O'Donnell a hurried kick out, but left half back, Mercedes up towards the wing, bounces to Crawford, had it then lost it, slaps it out wide, Leckis controls it now, Harvey got to him, Lord, clever hand pass, well, as it turned out, not. The hand pass to a contest. Mercedes got it. They scramble after it on the other side. Woods trying to crash through Olorenshaw, claimed by Robron. And the bounce on the wing. Well, oh, the stats button on the tacklings uh, thing will have RSI. That was <laughs> about eight tackles in that one 15 seconds of play. Both sides are making sure that the uh, opposition can't get clear. Characteristic of this game. A lot of good tackling from both sides. Brilliantly done by Salmon to Woods. Towards center half forward with the kick uncontested in from the side. Holland, who has a new opponent now. Fletcher's moved on to him. O'Connor on the bench. Yes, well, he would have thought that Fletcher would have been his uh, logical opponent pre-game. He certainly, O'Connor, would have uh, died from exhaustion if he was on Holland for much longer. But still, he uh, will still be a question of whether Fletcher can stay with him anyway. Holland at his second. Off target, Barnard is up, helping it on its way behind. Well, he's been averaging eight marks a game. He's already taken four so far. And they are above the head marks, but it's half the time it's because his opponent is not quite with him because he's ran so hard to get to the contest. Barnard finds Fletcher at half back, kicks the space, looking for young Blake Carousel, who's already kicked the goal in the first quarter, taken over the line by Lekas on screen has had a terrific season he's played every game for the Hawks number 37 he's been around the club for three or four years but now gets his chance Salmon and Somerville Somerville this time wins the tap Carousella back to Harvey short kick it's kept in O'Donnell tried to slap the ball along Lloyd great vision Calthorpe it's a poor kick needing a bounce was Lucas thought he was held We've got a ball up. 25 metres out from Essendon's goal. So half it on screen before. Just had a fantastic season. Lekas. Right head towards the boundary line. Lord gets it back to Scott. Another smother. So it's tight. And we've got the Hawks leading by eight points. Very much a defensive game so far. When you look at it, Essendon not into their 50 too often. Weighted heavily Hawthorne's way. Salmon doing best, knocks it down. Across the line it goes off the hands of Lekas. Number 37. And the throw it. Paul Salmon and Holland both in the top 10 in terms of marks this season so they're big men marking around the ground 
always the way when you look at those sorts of figures. Taylor falling to the ground, tries to get a hand pass out. It spills back to Carousella. Bad luck for the Bombers. They were headed goalward there. Alessio had it, but the umpire had blown the whistle. So bounce about 40 metres out from the Bombers' attacking goal. They trail by eight points. Somerville, the big run at it. Lord, hurriedly out of the congestion. Bounces across half back. Woods just behind the target. Crawford dragged to the ground. O'Donnell gets the kick off, and the mark is held low down by the veteran Harvey. Mark Harvey, great to see him back. The turnover, the Woods hand pass to uh, Crawford. It was under pressure, but it got behind Crawford. If it had been a yard in front, well, Hawthorne, I think, would be down in there. Forward 50. It's just a game of inches. Watch it again. The one before that went behind him rather than in front of him, and uh, from that, Eslin won the ball. Mark Harvey then from right on the 50. Either one of them. And it slides to the right and goes through for a behind. It's just the reason for that, just for the viewers, is the goal posts have been shifted to round one goal square width, so therefore the 50-metre lines have to be altered, and the, the old lines have not yet worn out. So Lord's got in the back pocket. He's been averaging 22 possessions a game. He's already picked up another 10. Taylor. Been a bit of a live wire for Hawthorne this year. And he's going to get the free kick. So in fact, they're giving it downfield. So it goes to Tony Woods. From centre wing position, kicks a high ball. But here comes Holland once more. He's been in great form. Gets it across to the Rat Platten. Non-stop football by Hawthorne into the square. Backing back. Chick. Good play by Hardwick. Pumps the ball back over the line. So Hardwick. Originally from Springvale. Been a pretty handy defender for the Bombers over the last couple of seasons. Been a regular. Somerville. Tried to take it out. Crawford taken to the ground by Young. So a chance for Hawthorne. 25 metres out from goal. Platten. Ball just forced forward to Pryor with those quick hands. Ends up with Kelthorpe. Goes short and finds Harvey. So the veteran of the tournament games now to Fletcher. Big thump and kick back towards Alessio. Didn't quite get off the ground. Lloyd was there as well. Lawrence did very well. Gets it back to Lord. Picking up plenty of possessions. Tumbles the ball back. Still inside the centre square. The bounce favoured Mercedes. Back to Hardwick. So it's a hurried kick. And Olorenshaw's got it. Plays on. Across to Morgan. Morgan with the left foot inside the 50. It hangs a long time in the air. Getting his fingertips to it down there was Carousella. Trying to crash through Alessio. Taken high, he'll get the free. Big Steve Alessio. About 40 metres out. Almost directly in front. The 50 metres being paid here for some reason. Not sure what it is. No idea. No, I missed that, but the first free kick for Alessio, I suppose, is that basic principle in footy. If you uh, put your head down and go through hard enough, there's always a reasonable chance you'll draw a high tackle. The uh, next situation, which has made a certain goal, I didn't pick up. Point blank range, gets it. May have been for something said. And Essendon creeps closer. Well, a 50-metre penalty, it's always been a little bit uh, contentious in that part of the ground. I mean, it makes a difficult shot at goal into an absolute certainty from the goal line. Uh, but uh, here we see the ball came forward, uh, Olorencho to Morgan. And uh, they've done pretty well, the Hawthorne defence. Lawrence has done pretty well as the tallest one down there. And really, this one here, well, the hands were caught high. It was just one of those things that happened. Started on the interchange bench, kicks his first goal. 11 for the season, and at 205 centimetres. He certainly would be a target up in the forward line, standing alongside young Matthew Lloyd. Salmon, couldn't find Harford. Taylor had it, lost it. Pryor 
likewise. Trelevin, quick kick. Clean bowl, Crawford. O'Donnell gets plenty of support from Hardwick. Kicks the ball back. Robin from behind will go the punch. Taylor is in front. Just couldn't take it. O'Donnell trying to set it up on 50. Here's Lloyd. He's taken it. Exciting young player. Yes, you can't get him to have it, let him have a leap at the ball. This is his four day to jump. He's got a terrific leap. Um, Wasteful not kick. Sure, yeah, caught it down well enough. It's a shocking kick because Alessio had led out to the right hand forward pocket and he pulled the ball back across his body. So the Bombers would have been disappointed. Salmon in front. He's marking well. This is not a good kick. It's a one-on-one -on -one contest. Opens it up. Olorenshaw goes short. Finds Denham. Runs into the open goal. It's a floater. But he's drilled it. Bad option by Salmon. Yes, whenever you bring the ball from out wide back into the centre corridor, anywhere around half back or midfield, it's got to find its target. And the... Uh, kick on thick might have been even meant for Lawrence but it didn't quite mean and this was a this little kick wasn't paid a mark it was so short and Trelevin had Denham but he let him go it's broken tackles they actually cost a team dearly and on that occasion that broken tackle has cost Hawthorne and Essen have scored the goal so for the first time today the Bombers in front Salmon with a better judgment for 11. They're getting it out of the centre square pretty well. It comes down towards half forward, fisted away, waiting in front. The ball is put back in there by Lord. Denham over it. Fletcher picks it up, picks it out towards the wing. Lord leads back in the race. Hartford breaking for him towards the outer side. He ignores that. Comes back to the middle. Taylor, the man bearing down, lucky to get away. Kicks inside the 50. Kick from behind. Almost Young's in front. Barnard hurriedly onto the boot. It comes out wide and bounces across the line. This is all of a sudden where Hawthorne's inaccuracy in the first quarter. Now the guy game has really tightened up. Essen are in the game, and because Hawthorne weren't far ahead on the scoreboard, have been able to pick them up relatively quickly. So Holland, who's had to have Fletcher shifted onto him, too dangerous at centre half forward. Masiti finds the boundary line, not prior. So smoking Joe Masiti. One of the criticisms of Joe Masuti is his opponent gets a lot of the wall, that ball. Tony Woods is the tagging opponent. He's had uh, ten odd uh, possessions uh, compared to Masuti's seven. Well, he averages 25 a game. Masuti, Olorenshaw, virtually handed the ball back to Smoke and Joe. Denham did well to O'Donnell. They run on Olorenshaw. One of the young baby bombers from 93. He's had a lot of injuries oh. since then. Or oh, courage there as Lloyd came out. There's been a collision, two players and now Crummel's one goes wide and he finds Big Alessio. And the other one getting him up the ground is Lucas. It's one of the exhilarating uh, facets of football. When three players want the ball, they all went at it hard and uh, Lloyd just wanted it the most. Got there, look at this, they were all after it, no doubt about that. All eyes on the ball, uh, but Lloyd got there a fraction earlier, kept his cool, kept his composure, terrific play. Alessio from right on 50. Kick the point. So the Bombers lead it by six points. Five, two to three, eight. And they're enjoying their best patch in this game so far. Alessia making a difference on the forward line. Lloyd looking very dangerous as well. For 11. Towards the 50. They've worked it out pretty well. It comes to Scott. Is it left half back? Scott. One player just bringing Pryor back on the mark. Scott close to that man as he kicks. Very high towards the wing. Big leap down there by Wellman. Denham, important. Mercedes. Calthorpe. Mercedes got it again. Calthorpe running on as is Denham. But the ball went to the ladder and it bounce away. Boundary throw in. Right half forward for Essendon. He trailed by seven points at quarter time. Alessio and Salmon. No free kick there. Spuffed off Alessio's boot by Taylor. 
comes back to Alessio. Still Alessio. Nicely done. Got it to Harvey. Across to Pryor. Off the fingertips of Robert. It bounces down towards Lloyd. Tackled by Crummel. Across to Lucas. Lucas hooks it back across his right shoulder. It bounces down towards the pocket. Lekas. Well played. Carousel. kept it alive. Gets the hand pass across to Calthorpe. It goes Goldwood. And didn't miss by all that much. Great pressure from Essendon on their forward line. And the Bombers now by seven points as Crummel kicks the ball out wide, punched away by Pryor. Woods for Crawford. He's got a runner, Scott through the centre square, kept his eyes on the ball, Fletcher met him hard. Hardwick showed courage, goes to the ground, Tony Woods continues to run on. Gets the ball across to Crawford, to Platten, inside 50, tight angle, can he bend it back? It's hit the post. Platten on screen. Damien Hardwick uh, limping from the field on the wing here. Playing game number 247 today for Platten. So a big milestone coming up in the next few weeks. Boundary throwing some 35 metres around from goal. So a chance for Hawthorne who trailed the Bombers by six points. Barnard got rid of his opponent, Gibson. Chick, hard up on the boundary, centres the ball. Holland's in front. Fletcher did well. Pounced on by Denham. Fletcher's hurt himself. Problems for the Bombers. Calthorpe, long raking handball. Here's Crawford, read it well. Gives it across to Taylor. Kicks a long bomb. That was Morgan who went the big fist away. Crawford pounced on it. Court was Crawford. Essendon under siege. Barry Young wobbles a kick out of defence. Harvey's there. Big punch away by Scott. Taylor just shrugged the shoulders. Gets it to Crawford. Runs inside 50. Can't get around the opponent. Wellman. Great defensive play into the pocket. There he is. He's got it. Holland. Shades of the first term and Graham went down. Fletcher couldn't go with Holland there. He's hobbling around the goal square at the present time, Dustin Fletcher. So Nick Holland has taken six marks, he's had nine possessions, got his second opponent from a very, very tight angle, he's kicked it. Oh. He's kicked two. Yes, he was uh, four form players on much better angles, screaming for the ball, but Holland backed himself. He did the real away swinger, really. The ball curved from left to right in the air. Hawthorne really knew that goal because uh, the last piece of this game has really been very much in Eston's favour. That looks painful. Still on the field, but uh, a trainer looking at his knee as we speak. Rucks go at it. Morgan put his body in twice, did brilliantly. Pryor under pressure to 11, fingertips to it, couldn't hang on to it. Denham putting it down towards the half forward line. Clever Mark going back with the flight of the ball. Lawrence plays on immediately, goes out wide. Lord getting plenty of the ball. His finishing hasn't been great. A little chip pass over the top now. Holland again presenting himself to Taylor. Taylor off the step down towards the attacking 50. Big leap at the back by Moorcroft. Denham. Harvey, Mercedi almost sold into trouble. Moorcroft upended. Trelevin gathers the bouncing ball then. Feeds it wide. Lord once more. Back down towards the 50. Taken by Platten. Platten runs on. Needs a finish. What's he done? He's kicked it. It's a goal for the Hawks. They lead by six points. And I think very importantly in this last few minutes of the game, Shane Crawford has been shifted up into midfield and has got some key possessions, a couple of good tackles, and uh, on that tackling turnover on the rebound, it was Platten, who's left alone in the forward 50, have the opportunity to score. Well, Johnny Platten on screen. He's in the reserves a couple of weeks ago. Looks like he's coming back to his best form. He's had nine possessions. Fletcher's off. 
O'Connor coming back onto the ground, so both clubs have lost key defenders. Graham went off early in the first quarter for Hawthorne, now fetches off. Here's Big Alessio mucking in front of Holland. Gives it across to Kelthorpe. It's a wobbly old kick. Makes it very tough for forwards. Robren gives it across to Harford. Tony Woods, tough in the clinches to Taylor. Always works hard. So Hawthorne, come forward. Big Alessio. Bomber check, kept it in. Well done. Back to Gibson. Centers the ball. And finds Crawford. So Shane Crawford certainly has had an impact. He gets around his opponent. He loves to take him on. Runs inside 50. It's off target. Minus score. So they lead by seven points. Margin in behind. Michael Pryor to bring it in. For himself. And out of the pocket. Sends play wide towards the outer side. Holland again. Terrific grab in front. That's eight marks to Holland. At the moment, it looks like Stephen Alessio uh, is picking up Nick Holland. Uh, surely it's only until the Essendon defence get themselves uh, settled. Uh, Alessio has got no chance of going. What was interesting, Lee, is uh, O'Connor came on and Alessio had already gone down onto Holland, but no one's actually come back to centre half forward at the moment. Stephen Lawrence is sort of just wandering around, wondering who he should be picking up. Holland chipped in short, rather indecisive, falling to the ground, Gibson. Slapped out of there by Salmon to Crawford. Can he get it this time? No. High floater in from the side. Moorcroft thumps towards the boundary line. Justin Crawford leads in the race. It was across the line, I thought. He's played deliberate. Oh, well, against the forward. I thought he might have paid, but the ball might have been over the line and then he just knocked it on instead of leaving for the boundary. Yeah, you're probably right. Good call. But it was very close to the boundary line, wasn't it? Moorcroft, and he was trying to hook at Goldwood, so pretty tough call. Around the boundary goes Morgan. Spins out of trouble, well played. Oloren Shaw, still going. Lobs it back to Denham, who's had a very good second term. He goes up towards half forward. Harvey's in front, takes the mark on his chest. Harvey, inside the centre square, indicating he wants to go long. Then he goes to the short pass and finds Lloyd. And Lloyd, a good kick, has this one right on the 50. He has one goal for the afternoon. Got a hand and a couple of others. The shiner from last week, the right eye, or at least training this week. And you'd expect the left eye to come up after that collision with Lekas in the first turn. But for all that, seems to be seeing the ball pretty well. Matthew Lloyd bending it back. It's a beautiful kick. Bomber's down by a point. It's a good kick, all right. Certainly was, wasn't it? Went against the uh, trend of play in this last five minutes. He kicked the ball approximately from 50 metres with these two 50 metre lines. I'm not exactly <laughs> sure how far he kicked it from. But uh, again, Harvey, this was a terrific use of the ball. Forward of him, there was only Lloyd and Crummel. He waited till uh, Lloyd was able to get to usable position and low, hard kick out in front of Lloyd. And then when he had to uh, kick accurately from a long way out, it was up to the task. So the Bombers within a point. 40 plays, 39. Salmon. Taken away by Masidi. So the Bombers come forward. Out comes Lloyd. Got a bad bounce. Lucas. Got a kind bounce. Rockets the ball back to Carousella, who's quick. He's got a bounce. Wrong side. Scores a level. Just under five minutes of action left in this second term. Lawrence just chips it, finds Crummel. They go into defence when Graham went off in the first quarter. Half it. Pinpoint accuracy finds Johnny Hassel. So the former Magpie, great vision, finds Scott. Out in front, here's Chick. Great play, Hawthorne. Yes, uh, when Chick was able to get the yard on Barnard, it was just a matter of the kick being out in front, and uh, it was from Scott, so it was a good movement of the ball out of defence by Hawthorne. 
kicked the goal in the first quarter. He's kicked 10 for the season. He's directly in front. He's missed. Justin Fletcher, meanwhile, is dancing around the boundary line. Doesn't look to be too bad, but obviously still cause for concern. And the Hawks lead by a point. Good tight game. Hawthorne looking the better side, but Essendon grabbing their opportunities. O'Donnell, the other side wing, Moorcroft over the top, pissing away from Lord. Aaron Lord, 15 possessions so far. He's averaging 28 over the last three weeks. And interesting, Alessio now up into the ruck on Salmon. This is really what Essendon have to do, I think. Double team Salmon with some for Alessio and just might wear him out. O'Connor directs it down. Ola Renshaw, nicely done in a tight situation, comes away, chips it up towards the middle, intended for Harvey, pistoled from behind by Scott. Scott quickly for 11, falling to the ground, gave it away. This is Morgan operating inside the centre square to Moorcock, running down towards half forward. That's clever. Prior in the true centre half forward position. Somerville in the square, Boyd dropping back as well. Pryor fancies his chances from here. Normally a pretty long kick. This one hangs up there. Somerville and Lawrence both fell to the ground. Spills wide, taken by Lloyd with the snap. He's kicked it. His third. Bombers back in front. Yes, the ball was in exactly the right position there for Lloyd. He was able to turn back inside onto his natural kicking left foot and really to hook the ball across his body as he did. Here we see it was a good spoil by Lawrence, but Lloyd is a left footer, so he just turned naturally onto that side, opened the goal face up, and uh, probably those kicks are a little easier than they look, actually. A very simple goal for a player of Lloyd's kicking skills. Three goals to Matthew Lloyd. And the Bombers by five points. Scott, down to Lord. This four winner on the ground, being marked by Wellman. So the former Crow gives it across to Denham. Goes short to Pryor. So smack bang in the centre of the MCG. Pryor. Inside 50. Going to ground is Lloyd. Taken away by Crummel. He's got flat and wide. Oh. Holland. <laughs> so there's 50. I don't know whether Young realised that Holland was probably 50 metres forward of the play on his own in Hawthorne's uh, attacking distance. So, really, if he didn't give away the 50, it was a certain goal. Well, Platten's got a shot from 30, uh, so he still has to kick it. Better result. So the Rat, in game number 247, directly in front. It's missed. Inside 50 so far favours the Hawks 31 to 19. Yes, it's one of those games, isn't it? The only thing, that, of course, that matters is the scoreboard, and uh, the scores are uh, Essendon's favour, although Hawthorne, uh, in general, play are probably on top in most spots. That was amazing that Holland could get so free. He was, without exaggeration, 50 metres in the clear. The only man inside the 50. Remarkable. You would think they'd be very conscious of him. Here's Pryor. Out of the back pocket, sending play up towards the wing. Reaching over the top with Salmon, close to the boundary line, Lucas. Robran emerges with it, nicely done. Across the Woods, he's 60 metres out, well-weighted kick. Over the head of O'Donnell, and into Chick. That is a beautiful kick, isn't it? And uh, Chick didn't have much space to uh, move in, but he was sort of clear probably 10 metres in most directions. And it was a question of just dropping the ball straight on his head. Beautifully weighted kick. And well taken by Chick. Yes, a good forward movement, that one. And he's looking very good on the forward line. Hard man to match up. He's very quick on the ground, but he's not bad overhead as well. Going at his second goal here. This to reclaim the lead for the Hawks. Seesawing affair. Starts it right and hangs out there. And behind. So Hawthorne, two set shots missed in the last minute or so. One by Platt and one by Chick. That could hurt later this afternoon. 
Well, he's kicked one three. Daniel Chick, so some wasted opportunities. O'Donnell very short to Wellman. Finds Hardwick. Still only 15 metres out from goal. Very short to Alessio. Juggled it. Some of was off. So Hardwick. Pumps the ball back. O'Connor was a high flyer. Ground level, Mercedes. Across to Wellman. Kicks the space. Can Lloyd get there? He's already booted three. The bounce favoured Hawthorne. McCabe slaps the ball forward. Morgan sees it over the line. So Danaher has come onto the ground. We see uh, Damien Hardwick also limping. So a few players suffering problems. So Danaher has gone to the forward line. And when Somerville came off, so did Stephen Lawrence. And Gibson came on to pick up Danaher. Harford, quick kick out of defence. Taken by Hassel, gives it across. Taylor streams across the half-back line. Beautiful kick to Crummel in space. Siren sounds. So Essendon lead by three points. And Brendan Crummel has a kick after the siren. And yes, I'm pretty sure he still is playing in defence. He's actually just charged up the field with the flow of the ball. Uh, Crummel left Lloyd long, long way behind and has a chance to put the ultimate penalty against Lloyd's name. A couple of long goals a few weeks ago. Playing to the forward line. The distance is there. It's floating from behind. Isn't it amazing how uh, kicking goes like that? The in inaccurate inaccuracy of kicking seems to spread through the team and it certainly spread through Hawthorne in that half of football. Five goals, 14 behind. Don't think I've ever seen a game where the, the side has been so much better but it's still two points behind on the scoreboard. Damien Hardwick limping. No orphan. There's been a few of those in the first half. Mark Graham off very early for Hawthorne. Dustin Fletcher, another defender, came off limping. And now Hardwick. He's been a busy player in defence. There's Graham. Obviously, he won't be back again this afternoon. The situation set up for a very intriguing second half. Essendon by two points. The major break at 7-4 to 5-14. CG tight one this Essendon against the run of play really lead by two points 7-4 to 5-14 the bounce Alessio taps it down Taylor has been very good grabs it smothered off the boot by Masidi bounces out towards the wing Woods over the top he's still got the run of it knocks it back in the direction of Taylor Taylor down towards half forward Crummel almost juggled the mark found it on the ground hand passes back to Platten quick hands away to Salmon Salmon 35 meters out kicks and kicks truly that's the stop they needed yes importantly that first shot not only was it a goal it was the first shot they've had the kicking hips in the first uh, half no doubt about that three seven and two seven respectfully so when you, they have set up a shot for goal here just so important to sort of get the ball through the big sticks just for the whole team really so that the next bloke that has the shot hasn't got the same uh, inaccurate pressure riding on his shoulders Paul Salmon's first goal today seven times he was the Bombers leading goal kicker five goals for the season these days mainly a ruck star for the Hawks this time beaten by Alessio pulled off the ball Denham short kick chance for Pryor he's got time and space he's getting plenty of support from Calthorpe can run to 50 it's a long pot shot at goal it's a minor score so Harford to bring the ball back Hawks by three points the nine possession so far for Daniel Harford so they can raffle this bingo it's lucky number four Salmon 
kicking goals. Now defending across the half-back line. Gives it to Lekas. It's up towards the half-forward line. Crummel comes out, got rid of his opponent. Lord oh. had a big first half. Runs his full distance. Gets support from Platten. Spending it back. It's a touch on the line. It was great play out of defence, starting with Salmon. It was interesting. If uh, Lord, had uh, Lord had unloaded the ball first off, Holland was just a mile on his own, but he ran into open space. Here we see a good shepherd on uh, Ola Renshaw, which set up Lloyd, but if he'd fed the ball straight off, Holland was a mile clear, but as he carried the ball into the forward line, the forwards really don't know what to do. They just don't know what position to make, and eventually a uh, point was the result. O'Donnell short to the pocket. Barnard's got it, wants to go, and does. Lord, that conscious of bouncing the ball, may not have seen Holland. Barnard runs into trouble, surrounded by Hawks, penalised for holding it. Well, that was a run into the great abyss. What was he thinking there? Well, I know he got caught a little bit cold by a tackler that he didn't maybe didn't see coming, but he's charged back into the centre of the ground, but decided to keep carrying it as if he was a mortal. I'm not allowed to be tackled. No one's going to tackle me. Thought he was bulletproof. Eventually, someone tackled him, and it's got to be a free kick. So, uh, very poor bit of play, one would have to say, by Paul Barnard. Playing against his old side in Hawthorne. Yes. Position A for the Hawks. Run, chase and tackle on the arm there of Daniel Chick. And Kick, one presumes. Has it got the carry? It has. Goal. His second. Now we see the kick in, that's okay. The safe position out wide. Now coming back into the centre corridor, that's dangerous in itself. But here he has to think about unloading it. I don't know, I really don't know what he thought he was doing. He must have thought the Hawthorne players had uh, made a pledge not to tackle him or something because eventually the ball was a turnover and uh, a goal that should never have been. So the Hawks by 10 points. Once more, Alessio got his hands on the ball first. Denham. Famous for his encounters with Greg Williams around the corner. Still inside the centre square. Carousella tried to take a one-hander. Beaten by numbers. Danaher wants the free. But he's given one away. So it goes to McCabe. Crawford. Had to get rid of it quickly. Trelevin. Kicked it wide. It was two against one. O'Donnell one out. Back to Rhino. Thunder thighs. Comes away. Thumps the ball back to space. It's got plenty of carry on it. Lucas just needs a kind bounce. Can nearly kick it off the ground. He's done it. Good play by the youngster. His first goal. Yes, one of the most basic things in football. Keep your feet. And as the ball went over the back here, the long kick forward. We'll see that Robren and Lucas, it was body to body. It was a question of making sure you both kept your feet and Robin was the one who lost the footing and left it an easy possession and eventually an easy goal to Lucas. Or at least, Lee, keep your body in front of your opponent. Hawthorne by four points. Salmon and Alessio. Alessio did well, fed it across to Denham, who kicks down towards the attacking 50. Loose ball behind. Wekas. From right half back, whipped it up towards the wing. Platten and Moorcroft, and Moorcroft did brilliantly. The youngster has it on the wing. Centering kick. You wonder about that. Made to look okay. Alessio marks alongside the centre circle. Wants to go on. Wellman kicking inside the attacking 50. Lloyd has been terrific. He's got three strong hands there. And he will kick from outside the 50, but has been kicking long and accurately today. Yes, very good mark to Moorcroft, but a terrible uh, centre, really. It happened that uh, Alessio was in between four Hawthorne players. The ball only had to go slightly one way or another, and Hawthorne would have uh, run it straight down the centre corridor. But Alessio marked it, and then Lloyd found the space. The way he's been kicking today, one would think he'd have a very, very good chance from here. 28 goals so far this season. Bending back, but not enough. Behind. The Bombers creep closer. 
So much to play for this afternoon. Big crowd. Virtually a final. The loser would be hard pressed, you feel, to make the finals in any sort of position anyway. Trelevin drives it around the outer side. We received prior with those quick hands to Mercedes O'Donnell. It's a hurried kick. Playing in front is Harvey. Got a bad bounce. Hassel met the ball hard. Rockets the ball out wide. Taken away by the Hawks. Harford up towards the edge of the centre square. Barnard comes out. Holds the black belt. Gets it back to Lord. Takes away for Hawthorne. Looks like O'Connor's gone on the edge of the centre square. Another casualty for the Bombers. Platten's got it. Screaming for it is Robren. And Nick Holland is without an opponent. For about the third time today. Because his opponents have been going down. So Platten, as we see Robren coming off. So some will come on. It'll be a double change with Lawrence for Hawthorne. And Essendon getting back in something of a defensive zone just to block out any set play forward moves from Hawthorne. So play goes on as we see O'Connor being carried off. Denham back towards Masidi. Oh, that was clever play. Ricochets back. So Hawthorne still the chance. Dixon had it, gave it back to Platten. Bumped away by the bomber defence. Platten goes in hard. The rat burrows in. Ball comes back to Dixon. Goes wide. Two against one. Lucas got his hands on the ball. Hassel. Good tackle by Pryor. Comes back to half, but they've got the numbers. Leckers kicks wide. Holland. Can he get there? He does. Goes short. Trying to set it up to check. He's got it. Tough angle though, Lee. This is where the situation is. Essendon have got all their players back in defence. No one up their forward line. And it's a really a question of whether Hawthorne can think their way through. They've got a shot at goal now, Chick. Hasn't kicked terribly well today, but he got himself on target the last time. He opens up the angle. So it's a centering kick. Caught behind was Holland on this occasion. Alessio takes the grab. Disappointing result for the Hawks there. Alessio. Olorenshaw in the pocket. Little chip pass towards the flank. Cal Thorpe juggled it. Tries to get away. Almost run down. Look at the company around him. It's got to be holding the ball, doesn't it? I would have thought so. Still, the Hawks have got it. Lord, courageous mark by Justin Crawford, going back with the flight of it. Terrific mark. And that is shocking umpiring out there. And a side he's taking on two tacklers, Cal Thorpe. He's eventually got tackled. The ball falls out of his arms after he's had the ball for probably five seconds. Play on. If that's not what holding the ball is all about, there is no such thing as holding the ball. Have a look at this. He breaks this tackle. That's fine. Gets pinged for this one. Oh, maybe it was a little handball, but it was a very little one. <laughs> so here's Crawford. Directly in front. And side up by three points. Very deliberate. Straight through the middle. Yes, it's uh, one of those situations when uh, teams decide to play this defensive zone that the Swans initiated last year and Essendon do it now. They get all their players back, but it's very hard to get the ball out of that part of the ground because if you do get it, you've got no one to kick it to on your side up around the centre line and uh, eventually the ball stayed in there, had to take a very good mark for to earn the shot, but then he's able to finish it well. Well, the Hawks trail by two points at half time. They now lead by nine. They've kicked three goals to one in this third quarter. Salmon versus Somerville. So the fish wins it. Half it streams out of the centre, kicks it off the ground. Clever play. Holland had it punched away. Dixon had it, lost it. Crummel. Back to Dixon. Bit of a live wire. Kicks to the square. Checks at the back. Second grab. It's a great skill in football. He had the player under the ball, Barnard. He knew the ball was going to go over Barnard's head. He just had to hold Barnard under the ball, push his hip into his back, make sure he couldn't come back any further. Then at the last minute, stick the arms up, take the mark. And acute angle, but he'll think his way through it. He'll come out to the right. It'll just be a question of whether we can put the ball across his boot and goal. He's kicked two, three. He's popped it through. Goal number three for Daniel Check. a terrific goal uh, for Hawthorne. It was a good play by Chick. They won the ball out in the half forward line again. Knew where the flight of the ball was coming. Was able to mark it and finish. 
uh, Lucas is now back onto Holland, and the way uh, Holland's opponents have been getting injured, I'd be a bit worried if I was Scott Lucas, but uh, he's the next boy, next boy on the block. And here we say Dixon on, here we see, ball going long. Nice play, very dangerous play down there, Chip. Daniel Chick has got three goals this afternoon. He's starting to think he'd look good in black and gold as it's knocked down wide at the back, taken by Morgan. Calthorpe, Pryor now. Pryor kicks inside the attacking 50. Attempted the one-hander by Carousella. Throws it up to Lloyd. Lloyd throws it on the boot. It wanders just to the right of the high. Well, for all intents and purposes, that was a throw by Carousella. And the black and gold Guernsey for Chick you're referring to isn't Richmond, uh, Dennis. No, no. The West Australian Guernsey. We need to get yeah, Ross right. on the phone and Michael Brennan and Larry Kick at the state selectors. Chick's looking terrific. <laughs> Here's Taylor. Swings it out wide. Lord. Had so much of the ball today, Aaron Lord. Finds Platten really stretching. Shane Crawford was on momentarily, but Platten spilt the ball. Not his fault. He was really stretching to claim the mark. Well, he kicks down towards the 50, but the umpire emphatic. He wants the ball to come back. Johnny Platten has been finding it this afternoon. What a player he's been. Short. Crummel. Good grab in the hands in front of the face outside the 50 chick offers a lead it goes in that direction too high harvey waiting behind clears the zone up towards midfield and danaher almost the mark play on the call alessio threads it back towards danaher left it behind mccabe and now Trelevin. he's had 12 possessions he's a ball winner hassle goes short and mark by dixon been good in this third term. One for the high price. Check from behind. Lord. Nearly snaffled it. Caught Morgan high. And what Hawthorne are trying to do against this when Nash and get the defensive zone back is get the ball in quickly to the front of the goal square and then work the ball from that situation. So they set up the loose player. Olorenshaw go over the top to Morgan. Barnard wants it short. He's got it. Goes backwards to Alessio, back to Olorenshaw. He'll find Morgan. No, he lets the chip shorter even to Wellman. And the former's not really going anywhere. So the ball has been marked. There's Moorcroft involved before. Morgan now kicks inside 50. Oh. And there's Mark has been taken by Crawford. Boy, I thought that was pretty stiff Lloyd. <laughs> I think it was shoved right in the back, wasn't he? Again, the play on the score. So the loose player set up. Crawford has just kicked the goal. Finds Platten, who's running from one side of the ground to the other. Now there's a free kick. The umpire at centre-half forward. I think it was against Lloyd. I'm not sure what he did, but it's... Uh, He's indicating to him. Kennedy is talking to Lloyd, so it's something off the ball. So Danny Morgan's got it on the half-back plane. Crowd are good if they can do that. That means they know what happened. Up goes Salmon. Still Salmon, as he held on to. Not according to the umpire. Crashing through Danaher. This is Lekas. Crawford, hard against the line. Chips it around the corner. Dixon. And now the run of Harford has the bounce. In the sunshine. Chips towards half forward. Holland, who's been terrific again this afternoon. Centering kick. Check. Was he held on to? I thought he was. Daniel Chick. Yes, exactly in front. It's almost a professional free kick, I think. Uh, Mark Harvey knew that Chick had the yard on him. He was going to mark the ball. All he could do was establish body contact. Uh, yeah, illegal contact. I don't think anyone could argue with that free kick. So Chick back behind the 50 here. Will cross it and kick from about 45. Why will he cross a chick? Well, to get to the other side. Harvey on the mark. <laughs> He's going for his four. Bends away to the left of the high. Three four to Daniel Chick. And Scott Lucas, as we mentioned before, uh, I don't think he's having any much more success keeping in Nick Holland than any of the other. 
Eston centre half backs that have been tried today. O'Donnell to Harvey. So the two veterans combined. Harvey kicks the ball out toward the wing. Looking for some of Auckland, take it on the second grab. Hawthorne has certainly got the numbers around the board. Lord has had a big day. Back towards centre half forward. Check. Pryor overruns the ball. He was desperate. Caught with O'Donnell. We've got a ball up. Just 30 metres out from Hawthorne's goal. Johnny Platten, 13 possessions, four marks today. He's kicked the goal. Returning to form. Chick on hands and knees. He's inspired, isn't he? Well, he certainly has been very good today. If his kicking boot had been on, he's kicked 3 4. goals for the season as Johnny Patton's coming off for a break and Gibson's coming on Trummel featured off to Dixon short kicks been marked by Lucas one is down by 15 points Moorcroft opposite pocket now in two minds the youngster decides to play on Good option to the Wellman inside the centre square. Masidi, haven't seen a lot of him in this term. Not a particularly good kick. It wanders down towards half forward. Barnard, with the path of Calfort, but they're running away from their own goal. Now Young, nicely done. Gets it across to Pryor. He's worked hard this afternoon. Michael Pryor, a bounce, a second one. Down towards the 50, some indecision. Hand pass to himself. Soccer's off the ground. Didn't work out too well. Close to the boundary line. The Bombers keep it going. Lloyd is down there. But weight of numbers tell the story. Hassel to McCabe. Natural 11. He's up towards the wing. Short one is on. Meters in the clear. Justin Crawford. 70 meters out from goal. Trummel turns around. The ball was bouncing behind him. Trummel the short pass is on. Gibson gathers the bouncing ball. Strong tackle. Warcroft got him down. Holding the ball the decision. It will come back will be taken by Moorcroft the cross half back not good play by Pryor before got within two minds didn't know whether to kick the ball or hand pass it caused a turnover so the Bombers let off the hook some the ball comes away kicks a high ball he's got Lucas loose now he's going to test himself for pace kicks the ball deep into the forward line so it's one for the high flyers Barnard tried to feed it off to Calthorpe round the corner he's hit the post Bombers trail by 14 points. Scott, who's now got the job playing on Lloyd. Two to three goals for the Bombers. Scott kicks the ball wide. Salmon's his target. Brings the ball to ground. Good tap on by Lawrence for Crawford. Loose players for Hawthorne out wide. It's Gibson. He's unadversely came off the interchange bench. Kicks a long bomb. This has got plenty of carry on and it's marked on the line by Dixon. Oh. It has been very, very impressively. He has been impressive and that uh, Crawford possession was set up because Haw uh, Essendon at the kick-in pushed their half-back line up to midfield, dropped their man-to-man -man coverage and when Hawthorne were able to win the first possession, Crawford ended up and a goal on. And he bangs Dixon. it through. That's a lot of self-belief taking that mark too, isn't it? Absolutely. You'd think the shepherd to let the ball go through might have been the percentage option, but as I mentioned, see from this kick in here, when Hawthorne won possession and the ball is transferred, very good play to Crawford, out to his brother who's out there 50 metres on his own. Again, because for Gibson it was, the man-to-man -man coverage had been dropped and uh, it's a percentage player uh, went Hawthorne's direction because they won the first possession after the kick in seen that more than once today. Hawthorne players getting a lot of latitude. They lead by 20 points now. And this is probably a more, more fitting reflection. Here's the bounce. Somerville knocks it down on what we've seen today because they've generally dominated the play. Masidi throws it on the boot inside the 50. Calthorpe, chance of a quick reply. Tugs it down towards full forward. The behind is indicated. Didn't miss by much. Yes, on balance of play, Hawthorne generally have looked the impressive.
defensive side today, but Essendon give them their due. Looks like Fletcher might be ready to come back on as well. Scott goes for distance. Lawrence up in front. Robert, half chance, couldn't handle it. Olorenshaw feeds it back. Moorcroft jabs it in towards centre half forward. Shane Crawford in the road. The longer it's gone, the better he's got. And that's a heartening sign for the Hawks. Up to Taylor. Across the body, bounces it up towards the wing. O'Donnell in the opposite direction. Crawford did well going back with the flight of it. Coming up was Lloyd, going in solidly too. He'll be penalised, I think. There was a man on the ground. I think he threw. I think he was penalised for throwing. Well, that came after Lloyd then. I thought Lloyd may have been the man that was called against. Harford confronted by Fletcher just on the ground. Somebody will get hurt one day when someone comes off the interchange like that. Meantime, it's across to Lucas. Lucas kicks to the pocket. The tempo increasing as Espen sense it's slipping away. Salmon only as far as Lloyd. He tries to kick the impossible goal. Nothing doing. Scott gets back. Meters in the clear now. All Hawthorne on the outer side. The kick not good, though. Moorcroft able to come up, get the ball across to Pryor. He was taken high. Advantage is paid. Moorcroft to Mercedi. 60 metres out towards Lloyd. And Lloyd has taken the mark. Wants to play on. Fancies himself with the snap. He may have pulled it too far. Wait for it. A behind. Yes, well, now this game has opened up and there's plenty of space. It's a question of which side can maintain possession. When Scott came out of defence, Crummel was a mile on his own but missed him with the kick. And just at the moment, rebounding backwards and forwards. It's a question of which side can maintain possession a little better. So Connor there on the boundary line warming up. Crummel comes away from centre-half back. Beautiful kick into position by the Hawks. Crawford kicks time. Chipping in there, he read it well was the skipper O'Donnell. So he now transfers the play to Harvey. They've got loose players on the outer side. They get the members. Here we go. Ola Renshaw, chip kicks. Masidi was on the other side of the ground a few moments ago. So some hard running from Smoke and Joe. Centre wing. Lloyd's the target. Got him in his sights. Punched away at ground level. He's won it. Lloyd, 50 metres out. Two against one. Seven should mark. Now they go down the other side. It's a question of who can maintain possession until you can score. And who's got the fitness to push across the ground once more? Taylor. So it's Hawthorne's turn. Finds Lord. Played a big, big game. Kicks into the centre. McCabe. Loose. Another loose player. Coming out hard for the ball. He's got it. Dixon. What an impressive youngster. Great vision. Holland. So on the rebound, Lee, it's just who can run the hardest to pick up their man. Well, and who can get a shot at goal, basically. I mean, for the last three or four minutes of play, it's gone from 50 to 50. The defence has won the ball. It goes up the other end. And now that uh, the only way that sequence of events ends is for his player to be able to have a shot at goal. Everybody can settle down, find their direct opponent, and then they'll start again. Well, he's kicked two. There's Nick Holland. Jury really taking 11 marks. It's a great kick. Three goals to Nick Holland. Yes, when you get this really open, rebounding type of footy that this game's developed into as players tire a little, it's just simply a question of who can maintain possession. Uh, not make unforced errors, keep uh, your control of the ball until you can have a shot at goal. And, uh, Neither side could do it for the last five minutes while Hawthorne have been able to break that deadlock. Well, in the absence of Jason Dunstall, Nick Holland, the club's winning goal kicker now, he moves to 20. His best effort this season, five last week. He's on track to do that again. Taylor, tied up, will have a ball up. And when you think back to this summer, Nick Holland may not have been staying at Hawthorne. And Barry Young, his fourth opponent, I think they've given away the height and just tried to go with someone who may be able to at least run with him. Imagine the Hawks without him. What a terrific season he's having. Lord, a terrific afternoon. It's been a great month for him. The last four weeks, he's averaging close to 30 possessions. Hassel waiting in front. Hit the ball hard from 50 metres out. It's long. Paracella gets back right in the nick of time. Clever mark. Plays on immediately. Wellman inside the last minute of the term. Ola Renshaw. 82 plays 58. Biggest margin of the day. There's Young, across half-back. 
The Bombers needing a late goal, looking down the barrel of five consecutive losses. It'll be hard to get back. Alessio floats it to half forward. They queue up down there. Second in the queue for the Hawks, Lawrence. Well forward of the mark. Play is on. Tips it out wide. This is Lord. So Aaron Lord, 24th possession towards half forward. Crawford. Uncontested. This is Justin. Down towards the attacking 50. Holland again. He is carving them up. It's a virtuoso performance from Nick Holland. Having said that, <laughs> not his best effort. Gets it across to Gibson. A centering kick. And the mark is held in front by Harford on the siren. Well, very important kick coming up something to be said Dennis when you know the seconds are ticking down we knew it because we could see it on the time clock here the players of course didn't know it he had about one second to spare I would think then uh, Daniel Harford as the ball came in to his part of the ground pretty simple shot straight in front 20 metres out so the margin 24 points this to make it 30 Hawthorne have made their move it's a goal the Bombers in trouble have a look at it. it's amazing how the last goal before a break it has an enormous boost to the team's morale they go to the break for three or four minutes knowing that they're the team that scored the goal a tremendous double for Hawthorne and a tremendous uh, demoralizing goal against Essendon seven goal turn by the Hawks they'll turn for home up by 30 points it's 12 16 to 8 10 at the MCG Turn of the MCG. Hawthorne beat us by 30 points, coming off their best third quarter of the season, kicking 7 2. Their previous best 39 points against North Melbourne back in round six. Friars in front. Nassel there as well. Woods nicely done. Ward in reverse initially turns around and kicks and misses to the right hand side. Essendon's last goal at the five minute mark of the third turn. Yes, I mean, they had been inaccurate today, Hawthorne. That was one of just uh, kicking the ball too quickly. He had plenty of time, Lord. He had players running with him. Uh, so if you're going to kick the ball off one step, you are going to kick inaccurately a lot of the time. You've got to have a little bit more composure when you've got the space to settle. Alarm bell sounding for the Bombers, not only this afternoon. McDonald. Chips it out towards half-back eventually, but with no conviction. Mercedes over the ball. Woods had him. Danaher trying to crash through. Hassel did brilliantly. McCabe lively. Right on the 50. Centering kick. It floats to about 20 metres out. Dixon has made the mark. This could be a killer. It's been very impressive, young Ben Dixon. He's only playing good. his third game. Yeah, 19 years of age. Left to, yet to turn 20. Got the front position. Yes, had plenty of the ball, 11 kicks, three handballs, but again, that one, the front position, and was able to hold his ground, and really the ball stuck in his arms when really it had no right to. 25 metres out. Picks the goal. Hawthorne have squandered two three-quarter time leads this season. You doubt they'll squander this one. They've kicked well clear. That's his second goal. Yes, again, we see here, they extricated the ball from the kick-in. And again, the front position, pushing back, pushing back, and the ball stuck. And it's very hard to mark the ball when you're at full reach above. Elbow straight, it's hard to mark the ball elbow straight, but Dixon's hands were very solid. 95 plays, 58. Hawthorne with that seven goal to one burst in the third term have set it up. Salmon. Barnard. Kicks the ball towards the boundary line. Got Lord to beat. Been one of the best today for the Hawks. Numbers wins out. they have been good all day, Hawthorne. Kicks the ball long. Too far for Barry Young. Dives on it, so he's got to tap the ball out now. The running players. Lord makes the numbers. Kicks into the pocket. Wellman takes it over. Had to laugh at that centre bounce. Paul Salmon, in fact, didn't contest it. <laughs> Some will knock the ball to him, palm the opposition ruckman. This is his last goal. 
five minute mark in the third term Hawthorne also lost Mark Graham in the first quarter their star full back McCabe been marked by Pryor Dollar Renshaw so they need plenty of run out of defence just a tumble kick good bounce to Somerville Gives it across to Alessio, started on the bench. Looks for Lloyd, he's been their big winner up forward, he's booted three. And that's the sign of the good forward, isn't he? He made the space in front, but he jumped early, elbows, arms slightly bent, tucked the ball out in front of his eyes. Have a look at this, the way to mark the ball. He had to extricate himself, Alessio, but again, he was in the best position, Lloyd, but he jumped early. Really got his head up as high as he could, virtually mark in front of his eyes, and uh, that's the percentage way to mark the ball. And from that angle, a very good impersonation of John English. And so Lloyd. 45 metres out. He's kicked it. Kick four. Yes, and again, Brad Scott is now back on uh, on Lloyd, and uh, yes, it just he's just been a good player. He just is only young. He's only got, he's got plenty of improvement in him, but he's still a pretty solid player. Made the state squad for Victoria the other week, but again, the ability to jump early. You've got to do that, otherwise the uh, the fin has a chance to spoil. You jump early, he's out of the contest completely. Performed by 31 points then. Somerville. Wins it down, this time not to Salmon. It comes back to Somerville. Is it before the throw? No, Morgan, in fact, will get the free. He was the man that got it to Somerville. He's alongside the centre circle. Low kick towards half forward. Quick advance for Lloyd. All the time in the world for Scott then. Sends it back towards the wing. Holland, Scott looked like a traffic policeman. Half it, slaps it back towards the middle. Chance for Lucas, gets away from a tackle to Pryor. Pryor at centre half back. Wide towards the wing. Two on one here for Hawthorne. Lekas didn't require the support. Took the mark to Holland, to Hassel. It's all Hawthorne on this side of the ground. Hassel, long centering kick. Almost the mark to Dixon. Danaher the crumbs in trouble. It's a hot potato at the moment. Taylor, Taylor across the body. Warcroft gets back, uncontested. Harvey, Essendon to bring it out. Short one is on to Morgan. Back to Harvey. Nothing doing up the ground, though, so Harvey has to hesitate. Eventually, Carousella slips away and takes the mark in front of Holland. It just feeds it off to Pryor, who thumps the ball back, a one-on-one -on -one contest. Lawrence in front was at a nudge out. Robren, some fancy footwork to McCabe around the corner. Taylor has it thumped away by Denham, a wild kick. Doesn't make contact. Harford virtually gave it across to Lloyd. A good tackle goes to ground. Somerville under pressure it's a wild hand pass Crawford it's all set up loose player again finds his brother been tremendous on the rebound Hawthorne they've ran hard here's Crawford making space oh. but the ball has been brought back 95 plays 64 the umpires do get very pedantic sometimes about making sure the player is like exactly to the inch behind the man on the mark. So the lead by 31 points, Hawthorne. They trailed by two points at half time. Justin Crawford, big torpedo, off target. Justin and Shane, both of them pretty handy today. And they've combined well on occasions. There's Pryor then. They have got that brotherly thing where brothers tend to kick the ball to each other. It's sort of we've seen it many times over the years, haven't we? Yeah, they're not the Cracker brothers yet, but <laughs> they're on the way. There's Ola Renshaw in the back pocket to Harvey. To Ola Renshaw, indecisive football by the Bombers. The hand pass, a looping one. Moorcroft's got it. Back to Lucas. Lucas with Dash up towards the wing. That's better. Kick inside the 50. Lloyd the leaper, Robram the marker in front. Well done. 
His brother plays for Adelaide, of course. Crawford. Got it from Scott. Now Harford. Back towards the wing. Pryor missed it. Moorcroft had it slapped away. Danaher. Wellman nicely done. Moorcroft. Morgan. Alongside the centre circle. Back come the Bombers. Down towards O'Connor. Robren again. Good catch. Swings it out wide. Forward at half back. This is McKay. McKay, the little chip pass. Releases a man in space. Gibson. Gibson forward of the wing. Inside the 50. Another quick transference of play. Mercedes will get a free kick against Crummel for a push. Mercedes off a step to Moorcroft at right half back. So he's on the half back flank. He's got a loose player in Lucas. Point of the centre square once more. It's another poor kick. Not much chance for the forward. Just tumbled off the boot. Trelevin was caught. Taylor. All tied up. Been unassuming, but uh, last couple of marks, Jonathan Robin. I think he's been a good defender, uh, certainly defensive in attitude. But his opponents have been well out of the game. I think he's been a pretty solid player for Hurlburn back there. So Salmon, big day for him against his old club. Scott, this time Paracella, who's got pace. It's just bouncing wrong side. It's the minor score. Blake Paracella on screen the goal early in the game it's been up forward and back Robin taking plenty of time the distance eventually towards Salmon Somerville running down behind takes the mark squares the ball prior outside the 50 can run to the 50, normally a long kick. Well, it's long enough, but off target, out of bounds on the full. In the right full forward pocket. Salmon hit hard by Alessio. What's this marking contest again? Pop the knee right on the hip. It's a nasty one. That hurts. Hawthorne bring up towards the wing. Masidi goes in with courage. Still Mercedes trying to knock it out. Woods hurriedly onto the boot. Only as far as O'Donnell. Last roll of the dice time as far as the Bombers are concerned. O'Donnell told to play on. Centering kick. Well defended. Knocked away by Robron. Taken by Somerville. Denham had a good second term. Back towards full forward. The mark is held by Carousella. He's only about 30 metres out. Slight angle. Lloyd pointing to the goal. Yes, it was well back. Uh and at this stage now, but uh, basic principle when Tony Woods got the ball on the back flank under pressure, if you're going to have a quick kick, kick it along the boundary line. He came slightly inside, and it happened that uh, Gary O'Donnell got the position which has ended with Carousel's shot at goal. Very important kick, this one. The Bombers have any hope. It's got to be a goal. He's cramped up. He's kicked the goal. His second... They just hang in there. That was the kick that went inside, rather than along the boundary line. It's the percentage, the non-percentage position, because you never know where the ball's going to go to. Better to be out wide. And here, again, Robin was a good spoil, but Carousella was just able to drop into space. A good pass by Denham. So, uh, Essen keep coming. They've got the goal, so it just gives them a little hope with about 12 minutes to go. Still time. They trail by 25 points. Salmon, this time, stumps the ball. Knocked on by Harford. Masiti. Back to Young. So the Bombers come forward. Not much has happened on the four line apart from Lloyd. Thumped away. The Hawthorne defence has been good. Ground level. Somerville. Got the numbers. O'Donnell, the skipper. Long bomb. He's kicked a goal. Never say die, Bombers. Their fans are sensing something here at the MCG. Yes, well, this game was dead and buried two minutes ago, but with those two Essendon goals, we're back to uh, 19 points, and the game, of course, is now very much alive. Um, it's getting very, very dark here. We can hardly see we should put the lights on, I think. Uh, but certainly here, Gary O'Donnell was a real captain's goal, really. The ability to balance 50 metres out, split the centre. Yes.
Is light really failing? They'd be off at Edgbaston. That wouldn't be a bad thing. There's the bounce. Somerville knocks it down. Taylor taken by Morgan. A bit lucky the Hawks there. It'll be a bounce. And he's back to the umpire. Good tackle. So Essendon, full credit to them. Story of the day, really, taking their opportunities. Salmon, Denham was hung on to. Denham will get the free kick, will it? Trummel upended. Denham's ball, meantime. Here come the Bombers again. Lucas, on his natural side from about 70 metres out, wants it all. Long kick down towards full forward. Great defence. Well done by Scott. Edged under it by Lloyd. It seemed it was headed for Lloyd's chest, and somehow Scott got back into it. Push back hard, Dennis. That's the principle. He's in front. Make sure there's no space between him and the guy so they can't jump on your back. It's good defence. Push back hard. Lawrence finds a loose half it. Half back flank. Very dark at the MCG. Taylor to Lord. That's his first mistake today. Recovers well. Back towards the half forward lines. All the bombers. Barry Young should have taken the mark. Lucas back to Young. Moorcroft charges out. Gives it across to Danaher. Spent some time on the bench. Kicks into the centre half forward. O'Connor. Rhino's got it. Old Thunder Thighs. They play on. They're going to bring it back. Went off injured. In fact, he was carried off by two trainers. And that was a question of strength, wasn't it? Uh, in that occasion, it was just a question of who's the strongest body to body. And O'Connor is a big, strong man. He was able to use his extra bulk to get the right position to take that chest mark. Yet the kicker score today. What an important kick. The pride of Olverston. Kicking from right on 50. Gets underneath it. From behind. I must say, KB, you're in the right place for your home watching this on television because you can see them on TV. You can't it see is the incredibly ball. incredibly dark here. It should be a yellow ball they should be using. Aaron Lord in the back pocket. The magic of television. It's looks much, bright and sunny. Much lighter on TV than it is in real life. Here. It happened so quickly, too. This is Taylor. Nine and a half minutes to go. And the margin, 17 points. The Bombers have done terrifically well. Somerville, big spring over the top of Salmon. Plays on, probing kick. Lloyd up he goes, knocked away. Taylor waiting in front under pressure. Interestingly, got it across towards Robram. The crowd wanted to throw at least the Bomber supporters. Young was up, fisted away from Holland. Close to the boundary line, across it goes. They got out to lead by over 30 points early in this term. Was out to 37 after Dixon kicked the goal. And now back to 17. And Essendon still a chance. Salmon worked out of it by Somerville. Young falling to the ground. Moorcroft has been good in the last five minutes. Barnard storming through the middle. Got it from Mercedes. It bounces down towards the half forward line. Lawrence. Picks it out wide. It's a ball that Hawthorne could do well to win. Check. Close to the line. Kept it in. Not much percentage in that. It's out now. Harvey couldn't control it. So a boundary throw in. I think that was the old run over the line with the ball and then hand pass it back along the line. And 60,594 fans here today to see two great traditional rivals. Brought out a number of premierships in the 80s. Danaher. Didn't quite get a clean kick. Denham, Kyle Renshaw, a couple of Premiership players combined to the veteran Harvey. Back to centre half forward. O'Connor on 50, chips it up. Lloyd's running with a fly to the ball. He's got it. Oh. Wasn't that graceful by Lloyd? Well, Poetic. he's an outstanding young talent. He's kicked four. that famous uh, Essendon uh, deal that saw when Fremantle came in, Dennis. Yeah. Let Delaney go and Todd Ridley picked up the, the opportunity of picking up the best 16-year-old player in Australia. And I don't think they got it wrong when they picked Matthew Lloyd. Uh, great talent identification. 
points will get the Bombers back to within 11 points. They trail by 37 points in this final quarter. Lloyd kicks goal number five. Yes, and Ryan O'Connor coming back on to centre-half four just in this last five minutes has had a couple of key possessions here. Again, the body strength won out. He was the one who ended up with the ball. And when, when it floated up, uh, Lloyd was the one who was in the front position. And a heavy attempt at score from Scott, but uh, Lloyd was able to hold the mark and kick the goal. The defender very overzealous there. Very lucky not to be 50. And the MCG is rocking now. The Bombers within striking range. 11 points the difference. Come back bigger than meatloaf. This one has been terrific. Crawford's in front. Opportunity now for Check. Didn't make much of an attempt at fell at his feet. Danaher slides in and will have a bounce. Who would have thought it? Danaher, who played his 100th against the Hawks last season in round seven. Bounce inside the center square. Salmon. Looking to unload there, down behind Lucas, tried to beat a couple, Check's got the run of it. They need something now, the Hawks, to stem this. It wanders down towards the 50. Holland is star, who's drifted out of the game in the last 10 minutes. Follows it across the line, it hasn't been down his end. Barnard, watching. Former Hawk, drafted from East Perth. Plenty of time, as you can see. Just under seven and a half minutes of action left. Salmon wins the tap, taken by Woods. Clever kick around the corner, they need a bounce. Meeting the ball hard was Barry Young, was good play, but went to ground. Comes out towards Crawford, coming through his prior. So the Bombers just tumble the ball up towards the edge of the centre square. They've got the numbers, Harford gets there first. Casual bounce, make that Lord. Kicks the ball back inside, 50, Holland's got it. It's so dark over the other side of the ground. No, not impossible to know who's got the ball. It is amazing. I mean, you watch the television monitor here when you can see them, but at the ground it is just so dark. So Holland has got it. He's kicked three. He's kicked a goal in each quarter. You can see there with his 12 marks, he's been a dominating player. He's averaging eight marks coming into this game. So the Hawks... Lead by 11 points. Van Holland stretch it to 17. He can't. One point. You can see how dark it is there. The scoreboard vivid behind the goals to which Hawthorne are kicking. Denham to Morgan. Short one, Somerville, here come the Bombers again, the hand pass, a little indecisive, Crawford stole it, that could be a turning point, hand pass out wide to Crummel, Crummel at left half forward, the chip inside the 50, Harford hits the ball hard, Harford's got it. No good players come to the fore, that Crawford intercept in midfield, he just read it and he had the speed to get there, and how Harford has taken the real pressure mark. Uh, good players really rise to the fore when they're needed. Now, the kick from inside the 50, there are two marks to consider in front of him, but the one furthest from the goal is the 50 metre mark, so he'll kick from about 45. Harford slides it right across the face. Somerville, good grab. Handy grab that one. The margin standing at 18 points. They don't want to concede a behind if they can help it. Lucas around the outer side. Pulls it back towards the middle. Too tall for Danaher. Crummel slides in. Gets it across to support Crawford. And the mark is held by Dixon. Sometimes, sometimes as Sorry. I say, Dennis, sometimes young players have a test. This is the test of Dixon's uh, football character in a way. Young player, important kick. He can certainly kick the goal, it's just a matter of that he does hold his cool. That's really a test. It's at 18, it's 12, it would have got out to 13. Had that last attempt gone through for a behind. Now it's 13. Dixon, very impressive this afternoon. He's kicked a couple of goals. 
the important point is it to get it beyond the actual two goal margin product of assumption college young ben dixon originally from yarrawonga as prior it's a poor kick there's a chance crawford gets it across court is woods does well with strength around the corner they're peppering the goals see just over four and a half minutes of action left gonna be tough for the bombers prior kicks wide crawford's in front he's got it well, hasn't he found a couple of possessions i think he was all he was a bit sore about five minutes ago and may have been going to be going to come off the ground looking for the fish lands in the arms of crummel had to get rid of it quickly prior those quick hands to o'donnell to wellman it's going to be tackled he needs support salmon against his old side back to taylor so he thumps a long bomb one for the high flyers big fist away ground level half at 30 had it Oliver Enshaw pinched it across to Lucas streams out of defense gives it back to Pryor they're under pressure Hawthorne are relentless on their forward line great tackling Carousella he's got a loose player they've got the break Danaher 45 meters clear kicks a long one inside 50 Lloyd's their big hope up forward can't take it on the second grab Scott across to robram has been handy this last turn Woods comes away oh. the loose player Crawford so on the rebound to Trelevin 55 meters out spears it Harford's got it That's what rebounds football all about when uh, Danaher was a mile clear on the wing for Essendon you knew there's a Hawthorne bloke clear somewhere as well and when uh, they won the ball in defense well it's gone down the other end to uh, Crawford was the particular player. Kick the goal in the third term. So Harford. He has kicked a ripper. Two goals to Daniel Harford. And have a look at those Hawthorne supporters, Lee. Well, absolutely. I mean, that was a fantastic uh, kick. I mean, he got the mark. That was simple enough. He's probably got a 40 metre shot, pretty acute angle. Here the ball came out of the Hawthorne defence, and we said there'd be a Hawthorne player free. It happened to be Crawford. He actually took the mark, could have played on straight away, but he thought his way through it a little bit. Eventually, it was just one chip out to Trelevin, and then half had dropped into the spot. Not an easy kick from there, but Harvard, Har Har Ford drilled it, and Hawthorne have probably made the game safe. You get the feeling now they've weathered this storm, but Essendon came back hard against them. O'Donnell, out of midair, down towards centre half foot. Big, ugly pack, waiting behind it, Scott. Ward, so much of the ball this afternoon. That's 30 for him. Gets it across towards support and Woods. Crawford, and very handy this afternoon. 70 metres out, Shane Crawford inside the 50 and half it. His hands have been strong in the last five minutes or so. Chris Danaher feeling the worst for wear after a collision at centre half forward for Essendon. With the ball at the other end of the ground and Harford. We've got a goal from out here just moments ago. A chance to kick his third. They've all come in the second half. Sharp angle. This ball bending around as well. Behind. It was very close. Hawks by 21 points. O'Donnell. Short to Pryor. To Young. Court. Crawford. Danger here for the Bombers. Dixon bangs it home. He's kicked three. And looks like he knows how to finish, doesn't he? I mean, that was really a case. He had the goal open to him. The important point was to run hard at the goal. Another kick in error. 
or not so much the kick in there, I suppose, trying to be too optimistic with the play on. As soon as Hawthorne got the ball, there's a lot of players clear, and Dixon ran straight at the goals. Might have only just squeezed it through, but he did. Well, you can see the Hawthorne fans. The Bombers came back. They led by 37 points, Hawthorne, in this last term. Essendon got back to, to 11 points. And we can see now, goes out to 27. Denham. Towards the half forward line, Robin's been good in this last quarter. Carousella, the prior. The Bombers under pressure now. That half-back line has stood up well for Hawthorne. Hassel on the burst. Run through the centre square. Moorcroft with strength. Lands in the arms of Crawford, who's going to bang it back. He's kicked it. Well, Shane Crawford, I mean, he... His last 10 minutes, I think, have been sensational, as is Daniel Harford. I mean, Essendon really were coming hard. Hawthorne were under pressure. Someone has to stand up and take control of the game. And I felt Shane Crawford, more than any player on the ground, got a couple of key possessions at key times, as he did in the second quarter, I think, when Hawthorne got a little bit of a break. Um, still coming back from injury, still a long way from peak fitness, but a great last 10 minutes. 24 possessions for Shane Crawford, and they're out by 33 points now. So often the way a side working double time to get back into it as the Bombers did. You kick a goal against them, and the wind is out of their sails. O'Donnell, down towards full forward. It runs on and bounces through for a goal. His second. Too little too late. Essendon looking at five straight losses in a row and languishing near the foot of the table. It's hard to see them getting back from here. Yes, it's obviously a consolation goal with only about 20 or 30 seconds to go. Uh, but a uh, couple of good last quarter goals from the centre square line unloaded the big torp on the run. Pretty tough kick to execute that one, but uh, O'Donnell did it well. Both goals coming in this final quarter. Salmon knocked on by O'Donnell. Just a few seconds ago in the game, Here's Holland. He's marked everything today. That's 14 marks for him, his season's high. Averaging eight coming into the game. So he kicks to the front of the goal square, and there's a good mark to Crummel. They have finished so strong, Hawthorne. The siren sounds. It's been a big win. Yet to kick a goal, Brendan Crummel. Started on the forward line, had to go to full back when Mark Graham went off early in that first quarter. This will be a fitting end to the game for the Hawks. He's kicked a goal. Amazing last quarter. They win by 33 points. They were challenged and in danger of losing the game. With about 10 minutes to go. Essendon crept to within 11 points, had momentum on their side, but then Hawthorne have dug deep, like a good side.